Douglas Jardine of England and uh, captain during the Bodyline series has always fascinated me uh, for two reasons. I think he was a really smart captain. I mean, if you want to encapsulate what test cricket is all about, just look at what Jardine did. The opposing player who was uh, devastating all the opposition was Don Bradman. Bradman at that stage had an average of around about 100. So what Jardine decided to do was, right, the, the champion player in the opposition side, I'm going to try and cut his average down. What Jardine did encapsulates test cricket. If you, if you want to increase your chances of winning a test series, you've got to try and um, disrupt the averages of the, the best players in the opposition. You know, batsmen if you can bring them down, bowlers if you can push them up. If you do that, you increase your chances of winning the test series enormously. And that's what Jardine did. The other areas where Jardine was smart, he realised that fast bowling, the importance of fast bowling in Australia. So he brought a lot of good fast bowlers to Australia. And the third thing I'd say about Jardine is that if the administrators didn't want those field placings that he placed, then the administrators should have thought of that that beforehand and put it in the laws. You see, what, what annoys me about not only Jardine's situation, but take my brother uh, Greg's situation when he, when he ordered the underarm. Um, whether you agree with what Jardine did, whether you agree with what Greg did, it was in the laws. So, but the, the problem that I have, it's always the players or the captains who get it in the neck, not the administrators who make the original blunder. So it really annoyed me that Jardine and Larwood in particular uh, were castigated for what they did when all they were doing was playing within the laws. So Jardine, I think, gets a, a most unfair rap. I think uh, I didn't ever see the series, uh, but just uh, reading about it and, and being fascinated by it and having had a grandfather, uh, Victor Richardson, who played in that series, the, the series has always fascinated me and, and I've always looked upon Jardine as a very, very smart captain and obviously a very good captain.